What's up guys, King Racer here. Today I'm back with the brand new barn find videos. I got a, bu a whole bunch of uh, whole vintage toy cars from all brands. And let's take a look at what I have. Well, it looks like the uh, postmail guy also ring to my door and bring me those uh, two boxes. So we're gonna also open these boxes in this video. All right, we're gonna start with these two big Ziploc bags first. And uh, there we go. First vehicle is this Maisto snow plow with a movable plow on the front. This one's blue and yellow. It says snow mover on the door. Interesting. Next, matchbox. A street cleaner truck in red it says the clean coin whip for a better world on the side this is the uh, real toy police SUV probably a four expedition or four explorer here we have a real working rig old mall this is a matchbox can work T800 unfortunately this one's missing the container on the back of the truck Next, we have this very cool vintage Caterpillar heavy machinery with a lot of moving parts. I think it's going to call this one a grater, I believe. This, this engine in the back is metal. The arm here is metal and some parts are plastic, like this top and the uh, little shovel heel that you can move around. Wheels are plastic and doesn't see anything on the base. But it is a pretty cool replica for this type of a heavy machinery reconstruction vehicle. Here, another matchbox. This is the Garbage King, the old model with the all metal back. Much better, in my opinion, and much more realistic. So, this is why I picked up this model. Also, feature a nice color in red and says Beg Dola, recycling for a better tomorrow on the side. This guy here was really surprised for me to find because we didn't have this set here in Canada this is the Dubai police exclusive uh, release for the uh, majorette Lamborghini this is the police version so uh, I was pretty shocked to found this guy and this was the only one I found probably one of the best because the Lambo Aventador police is a very nice looking car so there we go pretty awesome find here we have this uh, Hummer or Humvee, used under license, Motor Max. First time I saw this guy. And a nice uh, sand gray color. Here we have a Dodge Charger, no name. And uh, looks to be a replica of the General Lee, judging by the front bumper. So this is why I picked this guy up. Here we have a nice Jeep. Uh, Rescue DCX, probably based on the Commander model. Interesting. Another matchbox for the walking rig. This is the Otakar uh, garbage truck. Unfortunately, it's missing the back, but pretty interesting casting. This is also why I picked this one up. And these are pretty expensive now, all of these on eBay. Also found this Western Star tow truck. Unfortunately, with a broken bumper and missing arm in the back. This Dodge Viper by Maestro, I had one when I was a child so this was pretty difficult to me to resist not buying it. This is the Marvel the Hulk version in purple so easy buy for me. Here we have the Holborn Hills Dodge Charger Police from Matchbox. Uh, this one is a cab over Semi mixer from Matchbox again. Lamborghini Murcielago police car from Hot Wheels. It says Enforcer on the side. Here we have a parts go for a Gatling pickup truck. Here we have this weird uh, helicopter rescue. Pretty interesting. This one has rubber tires and uh, some nice details. Looks like it's missing a, something in the back for the uh, roller. 
Here we have a real toy van that looks to be like a FedEx van, but more generic livery. Matchbox scraper or casting, not changed with the all metal bed in the back. An old high wheel hand blends with opening doors. And this is the uh, paint skin for the final run. This is the last time they made this casting back in 2003 or 2, I believe. A long time ago. Here we have a Maisto Chevy pickup. This is a Fire Chief with the opening hood. And the dashboard is out of commission on this unit. It's going to need to be uh, put back together. Here we have a harm for a crane truck, it's probably on the other bag. Here we have a majorette sap sapper pompier. Uh, I think this is the Toyota Hilux. Yeah, Toyota Hilux. You can also have a Volkswagen Amarok with the same style of livery. A couple of rubber tires for uh, parts. Also some ladders for fire trucks. And the last vehicle for this bag is this Hummer emergency vehicle with the opening rear hatch from Matchbox. All right, so this was the first bag. Second one. Over here. So first of all, we have this very heavy Caterpillar tractor with real rubber treads, pretty cool. And this thing is very heavy, it metal base, metal, metal body. Only this top here is plastic. Also has some nice tampons and details. So interesting piece for my collection. Here we have some sort of military tank. Best to go on the swamp and kill people. Here we have a Holden Commodore police of high wheels or casting. 2000s. NYPD Dodge Charger from Matchbox. Here we have an interesting Majorette Semu or emergency vehicle car from Majorette. Maybe a French exclusive model, not sure, but was interesting to find this guy. Probably the same thing as the Lambo Dubai Police. Here we have a generic Lamborghini Diablo looks kind of bit realistic and cool so this is why I picked this one up uh, this is a uh, Maisto garbage truck I picked this one up maybe for the parts for a old matchbox super fast swamp just want to pick this guy up for the light bar so it's a generic police car this one I picked for the rear riders this is the Hot Wheels uh, Ford I believe Ford Ben Ford COE Also picked this guy for the parts, the back, it's a Peterbilt, pretty damaged, a matchbox. Tootsie Tour garbage truck missing the back. Oh, I think the parts go for this one. Yep, yeah, this is the, uh, the Yatming Fire Chief Chevy pickup. Interesting. Some sort of military airplane. A very weird looking bus from the Air France International Airport. This is made by Real Toy. I've never seen this vehicle in my life. It's pretty damn weird and doesn't have an interior. You can see here, no seats. But uh, it was interesting, so I picked this one up. Uh, this police car picked up for the dome lights. Might be good for the uh, Red Lines 442s and old police cars. Replace the dome. We have a military police Ford Expedition from Real Toy. Kind of bit of the same skin as the Matchbox one. Matchbox Dutch Magnum. Oh, this is the crane truck that goes with this uh, arm here. It's gonna need to be reinstalled. Oh yeah, this one's funny. This is the donut petrol car. Monster Jam. I collect cop cars, but I also collect interesting models. So this one was interesting for my collection. Here is Siku uh, tractor with plow. This one has rubber tires, which is interesting. Didn't like cop car, just picked them for this light bar. Same for these two guys. 
this one's an interesting piece. Never seen this guy before. Doesn't say anything on the base, but it does have an opening hood. And kind of remind me a little bit of the play art style of the vehicle. And this does not match with the back. But I take this one up. Maybe I can modify it to make it fit. Probably based on the old Ford pickup truck. Matchbox police car, generic, but interesting and realistic. This one has the opening trunk. Put your guns or your, your uh, police equipment in the back. This is a little tractor or vehicle for airport and uh, stuff inside. Oh, this is a real toy ambulance. You can see here they are pretty similar to the Hot Wheels one. That's a little bit different. Opening doors on this vehicle too. There we go. This is a Skyline ripped off. Pick this one for the light bar once again. Here we have the uh, Zilmex Ambulance GMC. Pretty messed up. Hot Wheels Toyota pickup truck in beige. Ford Crown Victoria Highway Patrol. This one has been painted in pink on the sides. I wonder if I can take this out without damaging the original tampons. A nice matchbox Land Rover in beige again. A generic SUV. Take this one for the light bar once again. Same thing for this uh, very beat up mid red van. Picked up for the, uh, the doors in the back. And this one riveted, they got this one up for the uh, functional lights on the inside of the vehicle. This looks to be a Western Star, maybe a pier built welly dump truck. It's missing the back panel and the front grille. And last and not least is this uh, tank here. Interesting, functional uh, turret. But unfortunately, little wheels in the back, no, rub no real rubber treads. So that's it for the Ziploc bag. Now I'm gonna take a look at these one here from Value Village in a second. Okay, here we go. First bag. Some sort of uh, Transformers military tank. A quad bike. Hot Wheels Muscle Town from Halloween. Majorette tractor. Two. And the reason why I picked this bag is this beautiful Corgi Toys Lamborghini Mueller. And look at this. Opening hood with very detailed V12 engine underneath. Also have this opening little trunk in the back. And another one here with a spare tire still inside. How cool is that? I still have the uh, original side mirrors on the hood. You can see here the lights are pretty reflective. So pretty amazing find to me. And also have the insert for the steering wheel. And also have the Lamborghini emblem cast on the base. How cool is that? Pretty cool second bag is right here on my right, which is the uh, Matrix 3000 series uh, Chevy pickup with this uh, trailer here, doesn't fit on the camera, it's too big. This one has the opening hood, it's kind of a bit stuck, it's difficult to see the, uh, oh here we go, the V8 engine underneath. Missing something at the back, probably a bed cover. And here the trailer. This one has an openable door. And it's gonna need to be a fix here for the hinge to fit on this vehicle. But anyway, pretty cool vehicle. Third bag, one fall right off. This one's probably the best one, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. So first we have this uh, 
80s uh, Toyota pickup truck. This one, obviously, as you can see, has an opening hood. It's missing the uh, mirrors, however, they are very often broken. It's also missing the back hitch trailer attached like this. This one is the Chevy uh, Blazer. This one's the first time I saw the Slivery Wild Mustang. Pretty nice condition, still have the lights here. So pretty cool model. Here we have a generic vehicle. Just says made in Hong Kong in the base. It's probably based on the old Abarth or Fiat, I believe. Here we have the Grease Gremlin. This one is in pretty good condition except the wing which is busted and it's missing the uh, tailpipe on the side. But otherwise, it's okay. Crane truck from Majorette is missing the, the crane arm, obviously. And we have uh, this uh, racing champion here, the Corvette. It's missing the window and uh, looks like has been stepped on because the roof is uh, pushed to the uh, bottom. Next bag. Only car interesting in this one is this guy here for me. It's a Supra in a nice cherry red color. It's pretty beat up, but hey, it's interesting. Here we have Finn Mac Missile, Cars 2. Uh, we have this Lamborghini Diablo, uh, not Diablo, Contash, probably from a five pack, obviously. This Matchbox cab over truck from the Lesney era. This Majorette Fiat Habart, very, very beat up. And the last one is this generic car here. Oops, camera almost falls. Two bags left. This one we have a couple of race cars like this. This one's missing the back wheels. Generic cab over truck. This hot wheel black wall rocket style car. Don't know what you call it. Major trailer for the farm. Major white truck. It's missing the front grille and the uh, back mud flaps. A boat that goes with this truck but it's missing the trailer. I think I have a replacement, uh, a spare one on my box of Majorette. I'm gonna have to look and attach it to it and another bunch of uh, race cars here. This one from Yatming. This one's generic. And last bag. We have this nice Yatming or Road Champ cab over. Can work. Basking Robin High Screen Trailer. Interesting. Am I gonna do a base one for this truck? Because this one has missing mud flaps. Also have this uh, pretty cool uh, Volkswagen Monster Truck. Matchbox Dump Truck. This one is really big and dusty. Spent a lot of the year in the sandbox, another of these cab over trucks. And the last one is the uh, police Chevy Impala from Majorette. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this barn find video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. But before we go, we gotta take a look at what's inside these boxes. Okay, for the box. This is what we have. Ooh, look at this. A Volkswagen Beach Bomb, red line. This one's a nice blue. Got a little crack on the windshield. But uh, this will be a candidate for me for a restoration video. So I'll let you, let, well, I will let you guys know when I do it. But a pretty interesting vehicle. I got it for very little money so it was worth it now for this big box I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what's inside of this box anyway let's open it 
Let's see what's inside. Do a quick peek. And ta-da! This sucker was really well packed. Another diecast promotion in the collection. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. And happy collecting.